Well, Rachel, interesting question for our viewers this morning. What do you think should be done about crowded restaurants during the COVID-19 pandemic? Go ahead and text us, 602-444-1212. Have you seen some of the video out of Old Town Scottsdale over the last couple weekends? Check it out. The entertainment district here is mobbed, long lines, packed bars, no masks, and absolutely no social distancing, as you can see here. A lot of these places are taking some measures, putting up plexiglass between tables and hanging signs on the wall, telling people to keep a distance, but clearly those things do not seem to be working once the rush begins. So case increases like this really shouldn't be very surprising based on how we're told this virus spreads, not to mention three straight weeks of protesting. And these numbers, we do understand, they could be a little misleading because obviously if you test more people, you're going to have more positive tests. But the percentage of positive tests is coming back up. It's up to about 14% right now in PCR tests in the first week of June. That's up from 5%. In May, so we're going from 5% up to 14% percentage positive cases for our PCRs in Arizona. So we're asking, what do you think can be done about some of these crowded bars and restaurants? Because it would seem anyway like they are playing a little bit of a role and having a factor in some of these increased cases. Don't eat at these places, Prasad says on Facebook. So he's calling for a boycott to some of these some of these establishments. Robert says, if it's not comfortable to you, turn around and leave. Yeah, I mean, for sure, um, shut down, Will says. And we've been told repeatedly, Rachel, by the governor, and we've seen this even nationally, that that just doesn't seem to be an option that's on the table yeah. right now in terms of shutting back down. Now, there has been some talk, and this was way back, Governor Ducey about a month ago said, like, they should be careful about their liquor licenses if they're not doing things correctly. So... I, you know, I'm not sure what the legality of doing that and pulling liquor licenses would be, uh, but the one thing the governor has already shown he can do is shut things down and shut restaurants down, and I don't think these owners want that to happen again. No, and I understand that people want to get back to work, and we have to try to find some way to live with this virus. It's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. We are a long ways away from any sort of a vaccine or treatment. Um, so we are just in our household trying to figure out a way to live with the knowledge that a lot of people you know are probably doing exactly what we saw in the video. Unfortunately, there's a lot of COVID fatigue out there, yeah. and I get it. Believe me, we get it. Um, but it's when you talk to folks that are working in our hospitals, this is not a good situation. When you have people calling you from other parts of the country asking if you're okay, mm -hmm. because we're the headline on national news, Arizona's a state, we're not okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is not great. Yeah, 82% capacity. 82% mm -hmm. full of our hospitals. That's according to the Arizona Department of Health Services yeah. right now. So that's not a good number. It isn't. And a lot of this comes down to personal responsibility here. You have to do yeah. what is best for you and for everyone else.